Hi angels, welcome back to another DIY. So in last week's video, I made a reversible bonnet. So in this video, we're just going to be making a silk one. So what you're going to need is some silk fabric, scissors, elastic, your sewing machine, or you can hand sew it, or you can use fabric glue. Obviously, you need the fabric. And you're going to need the shape of the um the bonnet the bonnet which i already cut out and show you guys how to do that in last video so if you don't know scroll down and you will see how i made it but yeah this is the thing about this fabric that i got hit right here obviously i use it in the last video so it's not gonna be perfect but that meaning is i won't be able to fold it in a hot dog and then a hamburger again i can only do it one time so i'm just gonna have to fold it in a hot dog and then work my way around because as you can see it has a lot of holes in it and i worry that if i had folded in fours then obviously one of the holes in the middle of it would have just mess everything up so i only fold it in a hot dog just fold it over one time so what i'm gonna do now is the shape of the bonnet i'm just gonna pin it onto the fabric using these little pins that i got right here you have to pin it on so that you can get so when you're um, cutting it out, you don't mess up or anything or the fabric doesn't shift since it's silk, it does move all over the place. Just to make sure you can get it nice and even. So this is the first step. I'm just pinning it down so it can stay in place. So when I cut it out, it can cut out nice and evenly. So this is the first step. The easiest step that you cannot mess up. So yep. Be very careful. So the next step is to actually cut out the shape of it. I'm just making sure everything is nice and good. And that's how it's look. When you're cutting out a bonnet, the bonnet when you cut out the shape of the bonnet, it's supposed to look like a circle, a big old circle. But since I only fold it one time, it's gonna only going to give me half of the circle. If that makes any sense. So what I'm going to do is, I was going to place back the shape of the bonnet, the cutout that I made. On top of it was like, uh, no, I don't want to do that. So I decided the shape that I just cut out right there, I'm just going to pin it on and then I'm going to cut it out. So that I can get it nice and even up and I didn't want to mess it up or anything like that. Since I'm going to have to sew them together. Straight down the middle so I can get that big circle that I want. So this is what I'm doing right here. If you cut out, if you do it in fours, do it like a hot dog and then a hamburger again. You don't, you don't need to do this step because obviously you're going to get your full circle. But like I told you, I own it folded one time. So now I'm just cutting out the shape of the half circle that I made. I pin it all the way around, so I am good to go. I'm just working my way around it. You can cut it exactly because you don't need any space in between. Remember, you're just cutting out the exact same shape. Yippee! And uh, this is how it looks when it comes out. Um, first, I have to remove all the pins off of it, but it's just a half. When you remove it, make sure that this silky side is facing up on both sides because you're going to need to pin it together so you can sew it on. So I'm just going to flip mine over and you can see that it's even. It's even. So now, since I'm going to have to sew it straight down the middle right there, I'm just going to get my little pins so I can pin it on. So when I go over to the sewing machine, it won't, I know exactly where to sew and I won't mess it up or anything like that. So make sure you place it on top of each other so you can sew it on nice and evenly. So this is what I'm doing right here. 
And that's how it look when it's flipped over and everything. That's making sure that I add on the other pin. Because one of the pin kept on falling out. That was very weird. So yeah. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side. I'm going to need two more. So I have two right there, two right there. Now I'm going to sew it up together so that it can be nice and connected. So that is what I'm going to be doing right here. Just sewing it down. Sew it, sew it, sew it. Make sure to remove the pins. Last time I did this, not this fabric, not doing this, but I was doing something else. And I did I wasn't able to see the little pins that was in between it. So the machine just went straight through it and the needle popped off. The needle broke in half. So be very careful. Learn from my bad experience. So yep, just sewing it down the middle. That stain on there, I don't know how we got on there or what it is. But I can have simply washed it and I'm good to go. So this is how it looks when I sew it straight down the middle. Do you guys see that extra lap right there, the extra fabric on top of it? I'm just going to cut it off because that's unnecessary. It's just messing up everything. So that's what I'm doing. And uh, that's how it looks. It looks so much better. So I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other fabric. Sew it straight down the middle. So it sit down the middle and then I'm going to connect them together to get that big, it's not going to be a big bond, it's going to be a small one. Not a small, like a medium. But yeah, just redoing the exact same step. Okay guys, so I'm filming this on my phone right now. Obviously you guys saw when I sew it straight down the middle to connect these two pieces. And I also did the same thing to connect these two pieces right here. As you guys can see clearly. So I put my little pins. These pins right here. I put it all around the edges because I'm going to need to sew the edge. Ooh, I put it all the way around. I'm going to leave this little part out right here. Because I'm going to need to put in the elastic. I'm just give it a little space so I can just remind myself I can't do it one hand, but this is where I'm gonna put the elastic through. Through. So in last video, you guys saw when I totally messed up this. Hold on, I click on the wrong thing. When I totally messed up when I was trying to make the bonnet. So this extra fabric that I have around here, I'm gonna cut it off. But before that, since I have this pin going all all around the edge, the next thing is to put some pins like rise. Right close by all the way around very closely and then I'm just gonna sew everything either by hand or by sewing machine so I'm gonna show you guys as soon as I'm done placing the pin then we're gonna start sewing everything together but this is how it's looking so far it doesn't look like anything yet because still need to put in the elastic and all of that mess but yeah Okay guys, so this is how it's looking. I cut off the extra fabric that was around it. Make sure it was nice and even up so it would be easy for me to sew it on and everything like that. So this is the space that I left right here for when I add in the elastic. Hold on, see if I can separate it. Right here. My hand can go through it. And this is the second layer of pin that I place all the way around this second layer. You're going to sew it all the way around. There's not going to be any space or anything like that. The only space is on the first layer. First layer, second layer. So yeah, that's how it's looking. I have my elastic right here. So let's see if I can give you guys like a better look of how everything is. It looks okay. So right now I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and hopefully... God is on my side <laughs> because I don't know how this is going to turn out. I hate using the sewing machine since I don't know how to use it. But practice makes perfect. So 
we're gonna see how this turned out it's like one in the morning and my back is killing me so i'm excited to get this over with so i can go to my bed okay angel so i just sew this part this is the top this is the first part second part and this is how it's looking it has some extra fabric at the sides so i'm gonna cut those off but let me show you guys real quick where is it oh yeah right here so i just finished up right in here i left it open so i'm gonna get my elastic because i left it in the living room i'm gonna measure around my big head and then I'm just going to put the elastic all the way through. I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing that. So the next step, which is the final step, is to get yourself a safety pin. Put the safety pin on the elastic. And then you're just going to push, push it through the little hole. And then using the safety pin to work it all the way around. So you can be able to pull it through on the other side. Sorry I wasn't able to show you guys that, but... My camera died while I was filming, and I didn't know until I looked back up. So, yeah. Just working it all the way through. And straight out, it come out through the hole, nice and easy. So I'm just going to pin it together so that the elastic won't go back through the bonnet. Then I have to go back through it again. So the next step is to sew up the elastic. By the way, I tried it on first before I sewed it up or anything. Just to make sure that it's the size that I wanted or anything like that. Or if I needed to cut the elastic. But everything was good and I like how it felt on my head. So now I'm just going to sew the elastic. I should have sewed it flat. I don't know why I put it together like that and then sew it. But... It's okay. I can always redo it. But place the two elastic on top of each other instead of placing it upwards. Don't do what I'm doing right here. Place it on top of each other. So I just finished sewing the elastic. And now the next step is the space in between right there. We're going to be sewing it up together so that the elastic won't fall out or anything like that. So this is the last and final step. And now we have our nice little silk bonnet. I really like how this one turned out. I'm going to make me some jumbo bonnets so that I can, whenever I get my braids, whenever I get my hair braided, then it will look so good on. But yeah, and this is how it looks on. Sorry, my room is such a mess. I tried to clean it. I'm lying. I didn't try to clean it. I just started filming. I apologize. Okay, bye.